Now you've probably already come across the idea and sound of triplets. And triplets sound great, but you can take them up to a whole new level. And you can do this by exploring the idea of how you group them together. Say hello to YouTube. Hello to YouTube. <laughs> Lego, what's three times four? Uh, 12. What about four times three? Now most of the time when people play triplets, they group them in threes. And that makes sense because it's the most natural way to feel them with a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three kind of feel. But instead of having four groups of three, we could do three groups of four. Now the reason why this sounds so cool is because it's introducing this idea of rhythmic tension. When we group triplets in their usual sets of three, we're releasing that rhythmical tension every beat. Essentially that number one is happening at the start of each beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But when we group these 12 triplet eighth notes into sets of four, you can see that the second set of four and the third set of four don't start on a beat. The second set of four is starting just after beat two, and that third set is starting just before beat four. And so this increases the rhythmical tension of the phrase, and then it resolves back onto beat one in the next measure. Now later on in the video, I'm gonna show you how to expand this idea even further. But first of all, this is how you internalize this sense of triplets grouped in fours. What we're gonna be doing is layering two rhythms together. Our hands are gonna be clapping the pulse, and you're gonna turn your hand over and clap like this for beat two and beat four. So we have one, two, three, four. And with our first four claps, we're gonna say the numbers one, two, three on each clap. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And make sure the numbers are evenly spaced. For the next measure, what we're gonna do is carry on at that same speed, but now we're gonna say one, two, three, four. So try doing it along with me. After four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you can loop around that, keep repeating it until it starts to feel really natural. What this means is you can then take any four note pattern you know, or you may be working on, and play it with triplet eighth notes. Now we can expand this idea further by essentially muting one of the four numbers. So for example, instead of saying one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we can say mute the second number and go one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. Now when you're first doing this, you may want to say that number you want to eventually mute a little bit quieter and make sure your numbers are still lining up to the same claps. So for example, in the beginning we have one, two, three, four. The number four is connecting with our beat two clap. And that won't change if we mute a number. And practicing rhythms by clapping the pulse and speaking them first without having to worry about playing the sax and the fingerings and blowing into it really helps you focus your mind on getting that rhythm right. Once that feels really easy and it's in your mind, then you can grab your sax and try playing some phrases. Here's an example phrase where I've taken out that number two. Now because we can change a four eighth note rhythm into a four triple eighth note rhythm, we can also change any rhythm that fits into two beats and kind of tripletize it. And this can have a really cool effect when you're playing. You can start with the regular eighth notes and then go up a gear into the triple eighth notes. Now down in the link below, there's a link to a free PDF of a study I've created, which has eight different phrases, eight different two beat rhythms that then get converted into the triplet version. And in the PDF, you can see there's a line which shows you where your clapping is, what you would speak, and then there's also an example phrase. And premium members at Online Sax Academy will also get the performance track and the backing track of all of those various different rhythms. Along with this, all premium members have access to all the courses on the site, and I'm currently building out a mastering rhythm course. There's already loads in there at the moment to dive into, and I'm adding to it each month. And in a step-by-step -step way, you'll learn how to really internalize these rhythms, and that helps you with your sight reading, your performance. Most of the time, you'll find that the problems stem from a poorer sense of rhythm. And that's exactly what this course is designed to address. So let me know in the comments how you got on with this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons. And I'll see you guys soon.